Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer laptop. This one is an Acer Aspire E15 or also known as an E5-551-T7V0. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to remove the mechanical hard drive and how to install a solid state drive. As we know that the solid state drives are much faster than mechanical drives. If you want to boost up the performance and make it much faster, remove the mechanical drive in here and change it with a solid state drive. I'll leave the link for uh, some of the good brand solid state drives, which are Samsung, Crucial, everything like that. And the, the worst brands are the Kingston and the Adata or Adata, which are one of the low quality SSDs. They do work still better than mechanical drive, but the uh, durability on the Kingston, on an ADATA or ADATA, or even some of the Western digital ones, SSDs, are not durable. But in this case, we have a Kingston uh, to show you guys how to install a, a SSD drive. So I have this one here. All right, first thing first, you need few tools. And before we do anything, we're just gonna power up the laptop, back up all your files, once you back up your file to external hard drive and we switch to a solid state drive, remember that there will be no operating system on this drive or any hard drive that you put in there. So you will need to install your Windows uh, from a USB drive. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB drive. Uh, you can do it for free. There's no charge on that. Check my link on video description. Also, I made a video how to install your Windows 10 on a brand new laptop or format you using a USB drive. Check those links on my video description. All right, we're gonna power off the laptop. We're gonna flip it upside down. Uh, first, we're gonna remove the battery by pulling this trigger with a screwdriver to one side or with your fingers to one side and then slide back the battery. Next, grab your screwdriver set. And as always, I use the iFixit screwdriver set. And we're gonna grab a Phillips number one from this screwdriver set. These beds are made out of the S2 class steel. That means they're really tough and steel. They will not go bad after a few years of use. All right, we're gonna start removing all the screws at the bottom covered. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. And keep them in one pile. And I am missing a few screws. There's a broken screw here, here. So I'm missing one. So you guys should remove all the screws. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, if you guys like my videos, if find it helpful and useful for you guys, you can support the channel by clicking like and clicking like and sub uh, subscribing to the channel. It really greatly helps and motivates me to make more videos and help you guys out. All right, once we remove all the screws, don't forget the one in sneaky one in the middle. We're gonna slide out the DVD drive to one side and remove it. We're gonna open up the laptop in 45 degree angle. For the opening tool, you can grab a pro, set, pro version of the disk screwdriver set or simply grab a guitar pick. Any metallic guitar pick will do the job. You stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And you just want to twist it, twist all in the front end. Make sure you hit a few clicks, go all the way back to the corner, and do the right and left side by the heat sink. Let me see if I removed all the screws at the back. No, I am missing one by the hands, so make sure you remove all the screws. I have the camera in my front of my face, so I can see all the screws. So remove all the screws and once you peeled off the palm rest, you're simply going to lift it up gently. Don't yank it up as it does have a, let me see if I missed one over here. No. Yeah, there's a missing screw here. How much I miss? I got two screws from now. You're going to lift it open. Um, be careful with the uh, be careful with the flex cables here. To remove this flex cable, just pull these triggers backward, lift it up 90 degrees, 
just like that and slide out the flex cable same thing for power on button right there from the back side towards the front and then slide it backward for the keyboard you want to slide this jack towards the screen slowly just like a let me see gently push it towards the screen a little bit and then slide back the flex cable i'm going to show it to you guys so this is the jack when it's the lock position. So you want to slide these corners forward towards the screen and that will release the cable. So you remove the palm rest, the hard drive will be in the front of you in, inside this caddy to access it. We need to remove this bridge cable, flex cable that goes from the extra USB towards the motherboard. Lifting up the jack 90 degrees upward with your finger right there, slide out the flex cable. Bring it over, don't bend it too much, 90 degrees, just flex it over. You're going to remove two screws that hold the caddy in place. Once you remove these two screws, slide the caddy towards the USB port here and lift it up and bring it over. And that's your hard drive inside the caddy. We do need the hard drive in order to change it with a new one. This one usually comes with one screw there and another one here so if you see any screw on the caddy go ahead and remove it and after that just peel remove the hard drive from inside make sure the orientation for the SATA connector has the same so you don't want to put this one upside down the other way around remove the hard drive this is a Seagate 2 terabyte hard drive you don't need to peel off the aluminium this aluminium sheet comes with the hard drive grab the SSD drive bring it over and place it in here Place the screw here is optional if you want to go ahead put it in there and put one screw right here is a flat screw for the hard drives and all you need to do bring it over align it make sure you put this side down first and put it down towards the base and slide it toward the jack make sure that the hard drive goes right inside the jack in there and the last thing would be to bring over the flex cable and plug it in connect it in for this video i'm not actually doing any upgrade so it was just for demonstration so to remove remove two screws i'll try to leave the link in the description for these screws if you need them but for the solid state drive you do not need any screws and so there's this one here so bring it put it on top squeeze it right there and slide it right through the connector put the two screws also at the end of the video i'm going to show you guys uh, how to activate uh, your if you want to install it from the usb drive your f12 key so that f12 key comes disabled so now that we got this one in now we need to put the palm rest on the tricky one and the hassle one is the flex cable for the keyboard you want to unhook and uh, you want to loosen up the lock right there grab the flex cable bring it from the back side and slide it under the jack evenly make sure it goes evenly inside and then you want to with the other hand pull the locks towards yourself when it's not even even so the some of the keys might not work so make sure you open it up again Place it nicely all the way in. Once you got that one in, open the jack for an off switch right here on the other side. Place the flex from the back side underneath. And lock it down. Grab the flex cable for a trackpad, bring it from the side. and lock it in place and last thing is to pinch the top and the bottom and make sure you hit those clicks open up the screen a little bit and pinch the back end the corners and that's it pretty much now all you need to do again pinch on this side so you want to pinch everywhere on the under the dvd drive in here now we're going to close up the lid slide in the dvd drive put the battery in
and put the bottom screws. Again, uh, right now we're gonna, once we put the screws, I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna get inside the BIOS and I'm gonna show you guys how to activate the F12 uh, boot menu in order if you wanna install the uh, Windows 10 from the USB drive. These two are broken uh, screws in there, so I can't put anything in there. Let's see if I can turn it on quickly. So once you turn it on, you want to press F2 to get in. Keep tapping on F2 once until you get to the BIOS. Once you're inside the BIOS, you want to go to the with the arrow key go to main option main tab from the main tab you want to go down on f2 boot menu and you want to press enter it doesn't show in there and you press enter and you click enable and you go back to exit and save changes and then once you do that now you can keep tap on f12 and it will take you to a boot menu and from here you're going to choose your usb drive if you have plugged in and then it's going to take you to installation menu for the USB. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do. Click that like button. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them all as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you guys in my next video.